Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing another cook and clean with me for you. And in this video, I'm going to be taking down all of my fall decor from this year. So that way I can get ready to put up all my holiday decor, which I am really excited about. And I'm also gonna show you guys my um, spicy chicken enchilada soup. It's kind of something that I came up with um, a couple years ago when we had like our snow apocalypse part two um, and it was just something I was really craving something spicy and a soup and it's just stuff that I had on hand because we couldn't get out of the apartment because the roads were all icy so yeah with all that said if you guys have not done so already make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up and let's get started Alrighty guys, so as usual, I'm going to go ahead and start off in my living room and I just grabbed the um, rubber bin that I usually put all of my fall decor in and I'm going to go ahead and start putting all of that away and tidying up the living room. Cause you want dollar bills right now, but you gotta Okay guys, so for today's spicy chicken soup recipe, you're just going to need some chicken breast. I have three right here. And then I'm using the medium salsa from Kroger. You're also gonna need some chili powder, some onion powder. You're also gonna want some cumin, one bay leaf, some red cayenne pepper to give it some extra spice. And then I'm also gonna use one carton of chicken broth, two stalks of celery, I'm gonna use some yellow potatoes to give it some starch, and then I'm also gonna use about half of a bag of frozen corn. And then I'm gonna cook all of this in the crock pot so that, that way while I'm cleaning, it's super easy to prepare for dinner. 
So first you just put in the chicken and the potatoes and the celery and then I just quartered the potatoes and then I just finally chopped the celery. And then you're gonna wanna add in the entire jar of salsa and then what I do is I pour the chicken broth into the salsa jar and then I'll pour that into the crock pot so that way I make sure that I get all of the salsa out of the jar and get all of that flavor because the salsa is key to giving this recipe some really great flavor. And then you can also control the spice level of this recipe. If you don't want it to be spicy, then just use mild salsa. If you want it to be really spicy, you could use hot salsa. And you can also omit the cayenne pepper if you don't want it to be spicy. So you can kind of change up the spices a little bit. And I'm just putting maybe a half a teaspoon of each or so in. I kind of just eyeball it and just, um, because I've made this so many times, I just look and kind of just pour, and there you go. But like I said, it's about a um, half of a teaspoon. And then for the cayenne, I put about a full teaspoon, because Charlie and I both like it really spicy. And then I'm just putting in one single bay leaf, and then I'm just going to give this a little bit of a stir. And the only thing I didn't put in is the corn, and I'm gonna put that in right at the end. And then I'm just going to cook this on low. Alrighty, so it has been about seven hours now and this is what we're left with and now I'm going to go ahead and add in this half a bag of frozen corn because this will just take a little bit to thaw inside of the soup and I'm going to grab a spoon and stir all of that together and then I'm just going to take out all of the um, chicken breast and I'm going to take two forks and shred them up and put them back into the crock pot. So before I add in the chicken, I'm just gonna make sure to fish out that bay leaf and then I'm going to add in all of the shredded chicken into the soup and give that a nice good mix. So before I turn the crock pot off, the only other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out one of the potatoes and then I'm going to take a fork and I'm going to, you know, stab it and see if, I mean, if it holds, that's fine. But I kind of want to see how easily it separates like that. That shows me that it is done and that means the potatoes are all cooked. That's why it's so important to... Um, when you're cubing potatoes or really anything, you want it to be as even as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you don't want one piece astronomically bigger than the other, so that way it all cooks at the same time. But it looks like this soup is all ready. So to serve up the soup, I'm just gonna go ahead and ladle it into a bowl, and then you can eat it just like this. Or you could garnish it with maybe a little bit of lime juice. You could also use some shredded Mexican cheese if you would like. I also would want to top mine off with some sour cream to kind of cool it down a little bit. Also add a little bit of that richness. And then this soup is just really great for those cold fall and winter evenings. And now the dinner is all done, I can get back to cleaning and putting away all of my fall decor.
So before I put all of my Christmas decor up, I want to just put something on the center of my dining room table. So I'm using this little um, pot that I got from the Target Dollar Spot earlier in the year. It says, Welcome to our home. And then I went to the Dollar Tree and picked up some of this floral foam. And I also picked up some white flowers because white is nice and neutral and it just goes with everything. And all I did was I took the um, floral foam from Dollar Tree and I put some of that into the little Target Dollar Spot um, flower pot and then I'm just putting the flowers in no particular order. I just wanted to make sure that you couldn't see the pot, you know, all the way down and see the floral um, foam. So I just put that together and that was just a simple centerpiece. Alrighty guys, so I just finished putting all of my fall decor back into our spare closet in our guest room and I also decided to take out all of my Christmas decor and this is really unorganized and I kind of just threw everything together last year because I was able to finally make it to Michael's and get some of their Christmas decor that went on sale like 90% off. It was crazy. So I got a bunch of like ornaments and wreaths and things like that. So I wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek into what you guys can be expecting in my next clean and decorate with me. So the guest room is a little bit of a mess right now. So I have like a one random case of ornaments over there. It was actually tucked in the back of the closet. And then over here, I've got another box full of ornaments and some wreaths. I've got some garland and some ornament balls over here. And then there's more Christmas stuff underneath in there. And then over here, I actually need to put this wreath up into the closet. So that'll be the next thing that I do. And then that, all of this madness, this is something that I got um, from Disney uh, last year. And then I've got all these bows and stockings and this super soft blanket, which has um, some snowflakes, some snowmen, and some presents on there. So this is the madness. And if you, again, if you guys haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a big thumbs up so you guys can be notified when I transform this madness into a wonderful Christmas wonderland in my next decorating video. Alrighty guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you got some cleaning motivation as well. And like I said, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified with all of my new holiday videos coming up. I have a lot of really fun Dollar Tree inspired videos, gift ideas, decorating, hauls, all that type of fun stuff. And with all that said, I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.